My name is Mariah Stewart, and I will be interviewing Kirsten Ball, a Texas Southern University alumni. Hello. Okay. Uh, when and where were you born? I was born May 18, 1992 in Pontiac, Michigan. Okay. How would you describe the diversity? I really don't know because I moved within a year, but I moved to Boma and there were like a lot of African Americans out there. It wasn't really diverse. Um, how long have you lived in Texas? I've lived in Texas all my life. Besides that one year I lived in Michigan. Okay. Uh, what is your ethnicity? I'm African American. How did your family get to Texas? We drove from Michigan to Texas. How did you feel about moving to Texas? I really didn't have any feelings. I was one, so you know, you don't really know. Mm -hmm. Like, it was their choice. I was cool with it though. I like it out here. Um, what do you remember most about your childhood? Okay, I remember I had moved, it was in Beaumont. I moved to this new neighborhood and there was this white family across the street. They were racist and they had these pit bulls. And one time the pit bull got out the gate and it chased me down the whole street. And it got my shoe and it bit my uh, ankle. And yeah, my daddy chased it, chased the dog with a shovel all the way around and started beating it with a shovel. Then they had to call the dog service or whatever. What do you call it? Uh, animal, animal control. Yeah, yeah, animal control. And they took the dog away. That was very memorable. Um, did your parents discuss race or racism with you? I mean, it was brought up, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like a core topic. Like, they would tell me about it and like how to deal with it, but it wasn't like something we constantly went over. Okay, um, what is your opinion on racism? I really don't get what, why people are racist. I feel like we're all human beings and we should all be treated the same. It doesn't matter what color we are. God made us all different for a reason. So why are we judging each other? Okay. Um, have you ever experienced racism? Describe your experience. Okay, I experienced <coughs> racism when I moved out here in Siena. It's really like a lot of Caucasians out there. And I remember I went to the corner store and I was getting ready to buy stuff and I was just like picking stuff out, you know, before you go purchase it. And like the person, the checkout person was just following me around like I was going to steal something. And I'm just like, okay, I'm going to pay for it. I have the money. Why are you following me around the store? That's not cool. It was a white lady. She was older though. But yeah, that's when I first experienced racism when I moved to Houston. Um... What kind of interaction did you have with people not of your racial background? They were really nice because before when I lived in Beaumont, I didn't really experience a lot of white people besides my teachers. But when I moved out here, I lived in like a white subdivision. So they really act like me. If you, I don't know how to put it. Like they were cool, mm -hmm. a lot better than I thought. It's really the older people that are more racist. The little, like the younger people don't really have a problem with it or see it as a problem. But I like them. They're cool. Um, what notable moment in American history sticks out most in your memory? I would say 9-11 sticks out the most. Um... Where were, uh, where were you and how did you respond? And how did the people around you respond? Okay. When 9-11 happened, I was in, I was at school and I remember our teachers had start, like put us on lockdown mm -hmm. and like they were acting real frantic and telling us to get under the desk and we had to hide. And I don't know, it was just really scary. And like the whole school went on shutdown. Nobody was allowed outside the classroom. Like even if you had to use it, like you had to hold it. And like, that was like the scariest memory ever. Um, what advice would you give young people today? The best advice I would give young people today is to graduate college because Without a degree or like whatever, you will not get a job. It'll be like you can get a job, but it won't be 
as high paying as you would like like you'll get a job and you won't like you'll make money but it's gonna go out like you are gonna lose it quicker mm -hmm. but if you get a degree you'll make a lot more money you'll be able to spend more money on yourself instead of having to worry about bills piling up mm -hmm. stuff like that that's what i would give that's my advice i would give to young people have you always wanted to attend college um yeah i have I wanted, I have always wanted to attend college. Um, what made you choose Texas Southern? Um, I chose Texas Southern because I got a scholarship for track and field. Uh -huh. uh, did you receive any scholarships? Yes, oh, yeah. I did receive a scholarship for track. What professor influenced you the most and why? Um, most influential professor I know was Duncan because he was really laid back. He made he made the college experience like seem a lot easier and it was like a weight lifted off his shoulder. Like he would tell you not to like stress. Like he was the reason I didn't stress as mm -hmm. much as I could have or was before. I like Duncan. Duncan's my favorite. Um did you learn anything about the history of TSU while being here? Hmm. I learned how we were founded, and I learned about, I, I learned that we were, our school was once called University of Negroes, I believe. Mm -hmm. It was something like that. I learned that, and I learned that a lot of athletes that, or a lot, a lot of famous people went here, and I didn't know that. I didn't know there were that many famous people, and that was pretty cool to me. Um, were you involved in any organizations? No. Yeah. Track the track team. That's the organization. Yeah. Uh, did the fact that TSU is an HBCU have an impact on your decision? I wouldn't say it had an impact, but I kind of wanted to go here more. Mm -hmm. Like I guess you could say it had an impact because you know if you go to HBCU and you know being a black person, they are gonna have your back more mm -hmm. than if you were to go to a big school <clears throat> and it's like mostly white people. They won't. They won't care as much as an HBCU would. And HBCUs are like, I don't know, they're more friendly to me. I feel like they care more than a bigger college. Okay. Um, what did you study? Um, I studied biology. I wanted to be a physical therapist, so I had to study biology. Okay. How did it prepare you for where you are now? How did what? How did it prepare you for where you are now? What, biology? Yes. It, biology taught me, like, to think critically uh -huh. and, like, to think things out and, like, things are not as easy as it seems. I don't know. Biology taught me, like, to think about stuff mm -hmm. harder. Um, what classes were the hardest for you and why? Chemistry. Chemistry was my hardest class. Because my teacher was not the best. He was a Chinese man and he couldn't teach. And like, it was like, he only gave us four test grades and then a homework grade. And that's all we got. There was no, no extra credit, no nothing. And like, you had to really, like, he made things harder than what it had to be. His teaching was harder than what it had to be. Like, he would teach away, and then the student would say it, and it would be a lot more clear when the student said it than when he said it. Uh -huh. So that's why chemistry was tough. Okay. Um, what memories uh, stuck out the most about college? The best memory was probably track. <laughs> track? And the parties. The parties were really nice. The parties were really nice. And track was, like you built a family with track. And mm -hmm. I like that. And that's a memory I will always have. Um, if you can give back to TSU, how would you do that and why? If I could give back? Yes. If I could give back to TSU, I would probably come and volunteer and like help mentor the kids uh -huh. and like help them better prepare themselves or help them to think things through, not to drop out and to like 
even though it's tough to keep pushing because the outcome is better if you graduate much better do you think it is best to stay on campus it depends on the person like if you get distracted easy or you don't you get influenced easy do not stay on campus do not stay on campus i repeat but if you are like a strong-minded person and know like what to do to how to stay on your work without getting distracted you can stay on campus <clears throat> Um, what do you think are some advantages of coming to an HBCU? I would say the experience is a lot better because you build, at an HBCU, I feel like you build a family and a long lasting bond besides if you were to go to another school. I don't know. I just feel like HBCUs care about you more, especially at Texas Southern. Um, do you think HBCUs are important? Yes, I do. Because they teach you, like, about our culture. Mm -hmm. Like, if we were to go to another school like UT or something, we wouldn't know as much or we wouldn't know where we came from. We would just, like, they teach you, like, the in-depth version more rather than, like, the version everyone knows uh -huh. or stuff like that. Okay, well, thank you for You're your time. You're welcome.